Hello folks, hello, my name is Benjamin Z. Miller and I am the managing director of a United Kingdom company that can pay you a long-term passive income when you make the wise decision to purchase one of our corporate income bonds. We pay hundreds of basis points over what you might be able to earn on UK gilts and other government bonds. So in this question, in this video, I'm going to answer the question, given the recent financing deal between Metro Bank and investors, how might considerations for banking investment shift in the current market? So everything going on with Metro Bank now, how might this shift things in the current market? Well, good question. First, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this video. So the answer is Metro Bank's recent financing deal, which encapsulated a 325 million pounds sterling capital raise and 600 million pounds of debt refinancing underscores a pivotal move for the UK-based Challenger Bank, especially after experiencing a roller coaster of events in the financial market. The package that was meticulously negotiated includes a hefty sum of fresh equity, especially from its largest shareholder, Jamie Zielinski Bacal, and a notable amount of new debt from bondholders. This strategic deal does not merely serve to infuse capital into Metro Bank, but also effectively paves the way for Jelinski Bacal to emerge as a dominant figure in its ownership structure. Moreover, the involvement of the riskier tier two bonds, which are taking a 40 to 45 percent haircut in their investments, illustrates a robust and perhaps aggressive strategy to stabilize the bank's financial standing. In this light, turning attention to alternative investment opportunities, that's right, I said it, alternative investment opportunities, like purchasing bonds from entities such as Alamo Mortgage Holdings, might be a noteworthy strategy for investors to explore amidst the dynamic banking landscape. Some of those investors that are tired of getting burned, maybe they would like to come on over to Alamo Mortgage Holdings. We have bonds for you here, and we don't have any of them that are at a 40 to a 45% haircut. Uh, diversifying investments across different financial institutions and types of holdings can potentially buffer investors against the unforeseen volatilities within specific sectors or companies. Alamo Mortgage Holdings, by virtue of dealing in different segment of the financial market, might, might present a differentiated risk and return profile compared to investing in challenger banks like Metro. I mean, it's nice that they're trying, I respect them, but my God. For more information and to learn how our bonds can pay hundreds of basis points more than UK gilts and other government bonds, please email me, ben.meller at alamomortgageholdings.co.uk. I hope that helps and I wish you good luck with your investing.